So I call myself an environmental geochemist because I'm a trained geologist who knows a bit about chemistry and is interested in research on topics that have environmental importance. A lot of the research that I've done for the past several years involves looking at abandoned gold mines in the state of California. The same process that concentrated gold, silver, tungsten, and other precious metals also concentrated arsenic, lead, chromium, and hazardous metals. So it turns out these mine wastes that are left over from the gold rush are this large environmental legacy that we're now having to deal with and are still causing uh, potential health issues to uh, local residents and visitors. The type of research that we do in my group allows students from different majors or different disciplines to approach it from their point of interest. As such, I benefit from having their perspective because they're all kind of coming at sometimes these complex environmental geochemistry issues from different angles. These mine sites scattered all around the state of California, from Northern California all the way down to where we are in Southern California, number in the hundreds. We go out to these mining sites, uh, we collect samples from these materials, uh, we bring them back to the lab to understand the chemical makeup of those materials as well. To become a real scientist, you need to develop intuition that allows you to figure the path forward, and that path is definitely not linear, but you can't develop that intuition without taking a pretty high level of ownership in the experiment itself. I think both from a learning perspective and from an efficiency perspective, it's important to me for students to really take ownership of the research that they're doing. And so I think by giving students that opportunity and the expectation that they're responsible for their science and for their contributions to the research that they're doing, they get empowered to take it very seriously, and in many cases that's propelled those students on to really great careers in the sciences. So one of the great benefits of undergraduate research for the students certainly is the opportunity to present their research in scientific forms at conferences or perhaps even in peer-reviewed publications. In many cases, students who present their results at these conferences make contacts that end up connecting them to various grad programs. Many students I know who are in grad school or went into graduate programs met their future advisor at some of these conferences as well. It's a really powerful way to engage with the scientific community uh, and network.